Hey Heather, it's Jackson. I'm gonna walk you through the 26 BK here. This particular one is the one that you were looking at. So it's the same discounted rate with the show price on it. And I'm gonna start off right here at the front with the step. So we've got an upgraded step in this one. They're usually like really flimsy little metal guys. I mean, they feel flimsy to me because I'm 280 pounds, but they come out from underneath of right here. These ones are actually gonna fold up inside your door and are very easy to get down. You flip that little switch and then you drop it right down. It's got little legs on it that extend down. So if you're on a bit of an uneven surface and you need your um, the foot to go down just a little bit further to get you a good solid um, positioning on the ground, it's got those on both sides. So these feel really good to step on as you're going on up in. Like, they don't move a bit underneath of me. So we're on the inside here, and this is, this is actually one of my favorites of the Avengers that we have. It's got a great amount of space. I could take all my nieces and nephews in this and have plenty of space for everybody to sleep in. So without any too much ado, we can get right into it. So uh, you got your sofa right here. This is a jackknifing sofa bed. So it does turn into a bed. Um, over here, your heat and cool system controls and stepping right into the master suite. trying to get, get a good light in here I apologize there we go okay so it's about a queen size bed you've got 110 power on both sides right down there and then you've got some 12 volt USB here too nice big deep cabinets on both sides of the bed uh, with closet rods in them and then you've got cabinet space that passes all the way through uh, above the rest of your bed space so you got absolutely just a ton of space in here um, for storage so we're going to come over here and I'm going to take a bit of a lay down in the bed. So you've got wiring for TV up there. You've got 110 power and coaxial. So if you wanted to mount a TV in here, um, you could run the coaxial air into there. And then if you're at a campground, the feed that's going to plug in from your outside is going to send signal to your TV right there. And there is framing inside of the wall right there where that little sticker says um, where you can easily mount a TV. You've got the same setup as you did over there. Um, you got power one, oh, sorry, the mattress just in my way. Uh, 110 power there as well. And your door actually does have a locking slide to it. So you got a hollow core door there, but it's nice and solid. Um, gonna give you a good amount of privacy while you're in here. And then, so you don't have to mess around with leaving it open if you don't want to. It's got a little lock right here on the outside. It's gonna hold it in place. Uh, moving forward, nice big sink basin. This little guy is very helpful to use. You can take it completely out of the way or you can stack stuff up on top of it for drying uh, or you can even just basically use this area as extra countertop space for your sink if you'd like to. Uh, a nice three burner stove here. I actually really like this particular kind of stove because it's got the wide um, cast iron grill all the way around. Uh, a lot of stoves have just these tiny little like stainless steel um, uh, things to hold the skillet. I don't actually know what that's called, like the burner cover, I guess, but they're very light duty. This you can put a big old pan or pot on and it's not gonna go anywhere and heat real nice and even for you. You do have an oven in this as well, which a lot of RVs don't have these days. Um, ovens generally are kind of wasteful on the amount of propane you spend uh, to actually heat them up and cook something, but it's nice to have it as an option. Um, you do have a range with fan and light on top of it, microwave right up above. So the galley is really all together. Very, very smart galley. I really like it. I love having the overhead cabinets here. Plenty of space for all of your pots, pans, cereal boxes, any of that. Three whole drawers down here. And even more storage space right down in there. Your dinette over here. Uh, the table has legs that are removable and then the tabletop is going to scoot right down and this whole area is going to become yet another bed. So at this point already we've got sleeping for two uh, up in your main master. Uh, maybe two kids here, one adult on the jackknife sofa. Uh, again, maybe two kids on the dinette um, and at least one adult. So we're already looking at four to six people being slept. You know, six if you're thinking kids, four if you're thinking adults. And then as we come up here to the rest of the galley, you got a nice, great big fridge. I love this fridge. 
the fridges and freezers they put in these primetime Avengers are always nicer. And in fact, actually, one of the things I really like about them is that they typically do use nicer appliances in all of them, like their stove and oven is very nice. You've got a Greystone microwave, um, Greystone um, range fan. Uh, their fixtures are going to be a lot nicer on your uh, sink and your shower as well. So they really put extra money into those kind of touches. And I can really appreciate that because my favorite thing about camping is, is actually cooking while I'm camping. So uh, anyway, continuing back over here to the fridge. This is a little lock right here. So if you're going down the road, you don't want your fridge opening up and your mayonnaise and pop or beers or whatever comes spilling out. You have a nice, great big freezer something as a former bartender i love that because i gotta have ice for my drinks freezer tons of space in the freezer nice big uh crisper drawer down here in the bottom the drawers are fully adjustable about every inch so you can really get into the nitty-gritty of customizing these um and even if you want extra uh um shelves those can be ordered relatively cheaply from uh from the ever chill people so if you wanted a little bit more um, storage options, you can get some extra shelves for yourself. Coming back over here to the dinette, we talked about the bed down below. You have another space for a TV backer right here. So there is framing for all that right in here. You've got GFI up here as well to plug your TV in. 12 volt power if you get a 12 volt TV and then also coaxial input that will work with um, either, you know, if you get a wine guard system or anything like that or if you're plugged in at the campground, all that stuff is gonna run right through here. This is basically your hub of your entertainment. You have uh, two very nice outdoor speakers, different zones that you can play music in, um, set presets for, for radio stations and stuff like that. You have HDMI input if you wanna stash like a Blu-ray player or something in this closet right here. Um, and then this is gonna be connection for if you wanna hook up an outside device. You've got your standard um, red, white, and yellow uh, component cables right there coming up into here again lots of storage this is all right up above that dinette as well so one thing that this unit does not lack in any way shape or form is storage it's got tons of it keep on coming back to here so you've got a nice sink um, that's gonna be outside separate from your bathroom so if you need to wash your hands you can actually be doing that while someone else is in you know the toilet or shower or whatever little medicine cabinet here Nice amount of depth to it, so you can store plenty of stuff in there. And these latches are very solid, so they're not going to open up and send all your medicine flying around as you're heading out through through your travels. Um, the bunks over here are nice, wide bunks. These are a little less than four feet deep, so you can easily sleep two kids in each one of these bunks if you need to. And there's one there and one on the bottom. Uh, it says weight uh, limit for the top bunk is 250 pounds. Uh, I'm 280 and I've gotten up in this and I don't feel like it's unsafe. So I think 250 is really erring on the side of caution, but obviously you don't want to ever exceed your, uh, right, your specs. And then we're going to move in here into the shower. So this is, again, being a big guy, what I like is the fact that I've got plenty of space from the door to the toilet. I can sit down on this toilet and I have plenty of room for my knees. So uh, I'm usually a pretty good barometer. If I can fit, anybody can fit. That's what I, that's what I always say. It is nice and wide too. That's another problem that I run into. So I can get in here and I've got plenty of room to move around. Uh, the shower head's a little low for me, but honestly, they're probably a little bit low for most people um, <clears throat> in most RVs anyway. So we're gonna come back out of here. Um, that's pretty much just of what we got going on on the inside. Um, everything's like really right there for you to see. It's all very nice. I'm looking around. I don't see like any dings or anything in the cabinetry. So like I said, it's not marked down because there's anything wrong with it. They got the show price on it. We've got two of them. So they want to get one of them out of here. Um, plus we got 23s coming in here real soon anyway. Uh, I want to take you back outside and show you some of the other stuff. You do have powered awning. Nice big wide awning. I believe that's 14 feet long. You have the exterior kitchen on this. So you've got sink with hot and cold water. Two burner furnace right here. 
and then you have like a uh, 12 volt cooler that usually goes right here that plugs in. Um, we've taken it out of there because people, that, that's a prime target for thieves who like to come around and steal our catalytic converters and appliances out of our RVs. So that's where that would go. It goes right there and that, that does come with your unit as well. Um, this little guy slides in and out real nice. You've got a good amount of counter space in there if you want to store extra stuff or have you know spices stuff uh, up here. And then this whole big door closes right down, seals up nice and tight. Coming around to the back, you do have a spare tire for yourself, so you're covered. Exterior shower right here. It will have hot and cold water um, as long as you have your hot water heater on. Sewer outlet, gray and black tank is going to be down there. Coaxial cable hookup right here. SETI water connection for when you're hooked up to water at the campground. This is just exhaust for your fridge. Um, this is going to be your fresh water fill and then a black tank flush. Uh, black tank flush, if you've never owned an RV before, is super handy because messing around with your poop tank is always kind of a hassle. Making sure you get it out nice and clean kind of tends to be a pain in the butt. Um, no pun intended, but when you've got one of these on your unit, you just hook a hose up to it and it's going to spray water throughout your black tank to really flush all that gunk that might be in there. Dried toilet paper, dried human waste, just the stuff that you don't want to have to mess with. So it really is helpful. Uh, you do have a power jack on this. Uh, your tongue jack that is now your stabilizer jacks are manual but stabilizer jacks are so easy to deal with and honestly personally i like to use my 12 volt drill with a nice lug on it you put it on the lug and let it crank down it's super fast and easy but it's even with the manual crank they go down in just a couple of seconds uh, you got some pass-through storage right here that actually goes all the way underneath of your bed up here in the front and is accessible on both sides. So if you've got some longer equipment, that's a great place for you to stash it. Coming back around to the front entry side here, we'll try to wrap this up because I know I, I talk super long, I'm sorry. Uh, it's a bad habit, I gotta get out of that. So you've got speakers on the outside as well, speaker there. Um, you do have 110 power here as well, so you can be plugged in if you wanna bring a TV or something out here. Uh, you can do that and plug in right there or whatever else you need to plug in for 110 power. That's about as brief as I can make it. I'm already over 12 minutes, I'm sorry about that, but I'm gonna post this onto my channel and get it forwarded over to you. If you have any specific questions or wanna see something a little bit closer, um, just text me, email. We've been texting back and forth, so I will uh, be able to answer all your questions. And if you wanna see a specific thing on the unit a little bit closer, I can do that for you too. So just let me know. I uh, look forward to talking to you, bye.